Hi, this is Captain Mike here with you again uh, with a new series of videos uh, I have titled uh, Playing with Plaster. Uh, I'm going to show in this video uh, the very basics on how to mix plaster and pour it into some very simple molds to make a positive plaster cast uh, that can be used for various things. To start with, I'll tell you what kind of plaster I use and uh, some of the uh, options that you have and then we'll get to the mixing. I use the cheapest plaster I can find and in this case it is uh, industrial plaster by George Pacific. I buy it in 50 pound bags and uh, it works great. Uh, it is, I pick it up at the, uh, one of the local granite supply companies here in town. I pay less than $10 for a 50 pound bag. And uh, I'm sure that if you don't have a, a granite supply place next to you, you could probably go to one of the big box stores uh, and inquire. Or you could simply go and Google Georgia Pacific and the product is a gypsum product and send them an email maybe they can tell you who near you uh, sells it now you can pick up uh, plaster at the big box stores I think it comes in small containers and it's expensive you can also pick it up at Michaels and Hobby Lobbies it comes in a what looks like a milk carton about a gallon Again, it's expensive. Uh, it's hard to pay for that, what they want for that, and experiment and waste it. Now, another option is dental cement, or excuse me, dental plaster. And uh, you can get it, and it also is as expensive. Um, this is called Excalibur and it is made or supplied by the Atlantic Dental Supply Company. Uh, it is definitely harder than industrial plaster, but uh, it doesn't weather any better. It's denser, it's not as absorbent, it does not make as good a mold as uh, the regular um, industrial plaster, but it does make an excellent 3D casting, especially a casting where you have to uh, pull the latex mold off of the, uh, the molding when it hardens. Uh, let me get a, uh, a piece and show you what it looks like. Now this fish uh, was cast in a latex glove type mold that I made. Uh, it's quite heavy. Uh, but the difference in this plaster and this is it rings just like a ceramic. When I bought it, I thought it was going to be the answer to my casting plaster items that we could hang outside. But uh, truth of the matter is, <clears throat> with indirect exposure to the weather, that doesn't do any better than uh, regular industrial plaster. It's harder, it casts better, it makes a great indoor casting, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't weather any better. Uh, the difference, of course, is this is regular in industrial plaster. It doesn't ring. It's very soft, it's like chalk. This is not quite like chalk. But now those are the differences. You can buy industrial plaster by the 50 pound bag, works as good as anything, any kind of casting plaster you can buy for making simple things for just simple castings. You can get the Excalibur and there are several other brands that make great 3D casting. But today we're going to deal with the uh, with the industrial plaster. And just one note here, when I unbag this stuff, I put it in 55, excuse me, 50, get, I'll get it right in a minute. I put it in uh, five gallon buckets inside of a trash bag so that I can 
when I get through dipping it out, I can seal it back up because it is uh, activated by moisture. And if you live in a very moist atmosphere somewhere, uh, climate, uh, or water gets on it, it's going to cause you a mess. So that's what I do there. Before we start the mixing process, we need to have a, a, a word about molds first. The molds that we're going to use today are these like, simple little molds that I bought off of eBay. I bought a dozen different types uh, and uh, I think they're either jello molds or they might be sand molds for kids to take to the beach. I don't know. They're very, very heavy plastic. I wish I could tell you where I got them because they're very popular with children. You can take the, make a plaster cast and they can paint it and they're just happy. But these are the ones we're going to use today. You can also buy molds like this that uh, I got this off of eBay and I will supply the name of the company in the uh, annotations. And this designed really for concrete, but it makes a great ca uh, plaster cast. This is a, a, um, a little uh, love, love, not love bug, um, can't think of what it's called now. Uh, hey, senior moment, what can I say? Uh, you can get these candy molds like this. They're very thin and very cheap, and they crack very easily, especially after you've had them for a while. But the candy molds work great. This is another mold that comes off of line, and it's real thin plastic, but it works great for plastic. Another candy mold, and one of my favorites comes from Hobby Lobby, and it's the plastic is 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 very good. The finish is very smooth, and you don't have to use anything as a release agent in this. And it can be used as a positive and as a negative if you want to. And I'll tell you how to do that in another video. But those are different uh, types of molds that you can do simple casting in. So we're going to get down to, to how to mix this, uh, how I mix my uh, plaster. And to start with, you need you a bowl of sufficient size. Now, I don't have any ratios. You can get ratios offline all day long. And um, I just kind of mix. I put as much water in there as I think I'm going to need. Then I take my plaster. And you can spoon it or you can just kind of dribble it like this. But the idea is to get the plaster into the water, not in big gobs, but in small increments so that it absorbs the water about as soon as it hits. And uh, you just keep on doing that and you keep looking at how it's, how it's stacking up on the bottom. And what you're looking for here is for the plaster to finally come to the surface and it has absorbed the water, or is in the process of finishing absorbing water. And uh, but you can see it. You know, it's not. Uh, there's no water much standing on top of it. Uh, and you can see we're getting there. And this is why you want to use some inexpensive plaster, and you don't want to really uh, get that uh, expensive stuff because you're going to experiment. You're going to waste a lot and. It's no fun to waste money when you're doing little things like this. Just unless you got more money than you know what to do with, and then you're probably not doing this anyway. You're somewhere in the Bahamas. Uh, but anyway, here we go. We're gonna. This is gonna work out just about right. You can see the the at the uh, plaster beginning to to form up on top of the of the water. That means it's just about absorbed all the water that it can absorb, and. Uh, we just can continue to do this until, uh, you know, that's about, about, about like that. Many come out just perfect. Okay, now we just sit here for a minute, and we'll let this absorb the uh, the rest of the plaster. If you let it, if you don't let it absorb the plaster, you're going to get lumps because once you start to stir it, for some reason it wants to ball up. But once it has totally completely absorbed as you can see here this little tiny bit here finally is absorbed start to stir now you don't want to stir fast 
You don't want to beat it like you're beating batter. You do not want to introduce any more air into this mixture than you can help. And that's why you don't use an electric mixer or a blender because it's going to put air bubbles in it and the air bubbles are going to cause you grief and misery. So you just take your time. You have plenty of time. In the summer it will harden faster than in the winter. It's definitely winter here right now. Uh, but the air bubbles as you stir it blends and it becomes uh, a nice uniform consistency and the air bubbles will rise to the top. It's about done. Oh, there's a few little bumps in there. You scrape the bumps over to the side like that and smush them up. Okay, let's just we'll call this done. There might be a lump or two left in it, but who knows? Okay, now we're getting ready to pour the plaster into a mold. You know, we can bump it. Let's bump this thing first. This is just a little trick to you. Bump it. Bump it on the floor, bump it on your table. It'll cause bubbles to rise. Now, I spray these uh, molds, that, especially the cheap molds that aren't really shiny, with uh, just vegetable oil. It doesn't matter what brand you use, cheaper the better. And it just helps to release. So you'll just kind of spray a little bit in there. It doesn't take much. In fact, these have already been sprayed once. Uh, and used, so they're probably okay, but for the sake of this video, we're going to do this way. So you have them all prepared, and uh, then we're going to fill them up. So we take it and just spoon it into the mold. You can fill it completely up if you want to. I never do. I just kind of do it this way. Bump it, set it aside. Need some nice soothing music while we sit here and do this, but who knows? You might not like my music. Now, as this plaster starts to harden, it'll get warm. It creates heat, and that's how it cures. It creates its own heat. So don't worry if it starts to get warm. You haven't done anything wrong. That's what it has to do. Water may even film up on top, which is not a, a problem either. It will absorb. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll, take, we'll just go ahead and put some of this in here. Now, I didn't treat this. I'll just go ahead and show you. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a butterfly. You can't have too many butterflies. The grandkids like butterflies. They like to paint them. So, we'll go ahead and use this excess, this excess stuff we have here. Hate to waste anything. We'll bump that one, timer two, and let it sit. And I'll come back to you in just a little while. When these things begin, when they're hard, and we'll take them out of the mold, and we'll talk some more. Okay, um, these things have uh, cooled down a little bit and uh, solidified. And we will do the unmolding. It won't take too terrible long. They pop right out. There's the cat. Little turtle. The car. And the pig. And they might would cast just a little bit smoother if you didn't use the vegetable oil. 
you can try it it'll it'll come out of a plastic mold uh this one here you can see it is much smoother and it i didn't use any vegetable oil in that one uh so anyway that's all you have to do now uh one more little trick you can use is you can color this stuff uh any kind of liquid uh colorant i would imagine even food color would work i use some of my candle colorant and uh soap colorant and various things to uh to color the plaster it will be pastel i don't know whether you could get an intense color if you tried but you can see it makes right nice uh colored uh pieces and i did those for my granddaughter's uh birthday she uh I wanted a little nautical theme, and we did it for her, and I cast up a whole bunch of those things. Another interesting thing you can do is while it's wet, you can stick a little uh, a piece of wire in there, you know, and, and, and they'll hang on the, the wall. So that's the simple, down and dirty, casting simple items with plaster. So do your homework. Go on YouTube, see what other people are doing, compare it to what I do, and hopefully I showed you something that will help you out. And if you did, uh, please uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Um, it just kind of makes me feel good to know that people are looking at it. Thank you. Appreciate it.